after all the construction grinding to make the storage to store the blue moons and getting all the melee gear we're finally here stats also pretty solid as well yeah i can't really get any better than this pretty much all the resources we can just make here if you've never done this before but you just get the uh, potions grubby sampling and the vials from the crates you need 38 herbler for that though and uh, also yeah just grab like the tools to fish or hunt the lizards i just do lizards and they also are scaled your cooking or hunter like how much it heals but yeah my my cooking's a lot better now so i can actually heal like 20s 23s with the lizards now okay we're ready to go all right i'm gonna go kill the blue guy first and for the blue guy he is weak to crush so the zombie axe will do perfect against it all right that's one of the mechanics we want to turn on these braziers and then we take less damage i've potted up you cannot use protection prayers but you can still use offensive prayers so and yeah with this 300 plus defense on my melee stats this guy will have a pretty hard time destroying me i'll still take some damage as you can see but I, as you can also see it's not nearly as bad but yeah defense matters a lot all right we also have this second mechanic where i usually abuse to store my weapons but yeah now we're fighting the boss so we're just trying to break it now failure to break it also results in taking extra damage with torags like look at this i'm only using i just use only one food this kill Ooh, we also completed a task high hitter for the next boss, it's week two slash. And this was the guy that really messed us up last time because of the constant healing. But now that we have high defense, it should be a lot easier. It really matters the defense because like if he hits you the first time, then the other splat has a higher chance of landing. Only use two food this kill. Remember, it took us like a, a whole inventory just to do this. I'm debating on maybe not even bothering with yellow just because I don't need any of the gear. The extra resources are good, but since we already have like all the range stuff sorted, I'm like doing no damage. Oh, there we go. I'm starting to do some damage. At the time of recording this clip, the Eclipse boss was glitched. What I mean by that is during the clone phase, you're supposed to be able to hit every single time and not miss. But as you can see, my zombie axe was missing a bunch of times on the clone phase. This glitch happened because Jagex tried to fix a different glitch with Torn to Demons when it came out. And like, it somehow affected the Eclipse boss. But it's been fixed since then. So you'll notice that later on in this video, you will see that my zombie axe starts hitting a lot. I will still participate in the Eclipse boss, at least for the combat achievements though, because I would like to make this grind a bit more fun and uh, passively, you know, unlock the next tier of combat achievements. Also, we did another task. Cool. Alright, here we go. First proper chest. Okay, everything's noted. Oh, Sun Kit's bones are noted too. That's good. The Super Compost will go into the Leprechaun, so it's fine. But then I guess uh, these four... And just go in the looting bag, no problem. Messing it up for us. But yeah, easy peasy. Look at that. Look how easy the red guy is, man. It's so consistent. I used basically one food that kill. Alright, let's see how how much different. It should be just a third less. Should be. Yeah, it's still decent loot. Just killing two. At least now we can go really fast. We can just like send chests like probably at least 40% faster. Nice, we can clutch this pretty reliably. Hell yeah, even with uh, no food. Alright, time to make some more food. Oh, cool, we got these atolls. Why not? I can hold on to them as well, so. They're worth a pretty penny. Wasn't, oh, there we go. Maple seed, so what we can do with that already is this. Just put it right in the the seed box and then we just plant these like within the day or the next day but for our first little initial impression right of grinding with our planned gear it's awesome man this is super nice exactly what i wanted oh dang that's just 
This is weird. Uh, Sunkits bones are not tradable, even though you can note it. So that's really interesting. Uh, I guess I could probably just train prayer every day just to clean it up. Yeah, pretty nice. Just a note it, and then I just manually do it fast, and voila. Oh my god, no way. 136 to 71. All right. Oh, nice. You seed. Oh, that's so good, actually. Prep some lizards in advance like this. We're 22 chests in. It's been going pretty smooth. Our farming definitely getting carried right now. Also, look at these other drops, dude. The herbs are looking good. Oh, I completed a quest. Nice. Fat of the land. I think that's just getting 30 boss kills before leaving. Now the inventory is getting tight. But I think that's all the possible resources now. Yeah, you can see why we really wanted Torax. Oh shit, we completed another task. Fortified? Getting some points for uh, the next CA. So I wonder how close we are just passively going for it now. 61 points. Oh! Oh my god, yo! Our first drop, boys. We got a lucky 24 KC. Yeah, let's go. Holy shit, we got the blue moon tasses. Let's go. I actually do need the looting bag space. A few things we can do right away. The arums can go. The Vrax fail can go, but I do need to use it for one common achievement task, a Kelvin Queen, which uh, could be a challenge, you know? It could be quite a challenge. Carol skirt, I can get rid of. The ring of elements as well. So that'd be like one, two, three, four, five items cleaned out. And there's also this, Calolithic Talisman. I'm just saving it for Morning Zen Part 2. So if I rush and get that done, then yeah, we can also get rid of this as well for six slots back in the looting bag. Time to say goodbye to a lot of stuff. <laughs> the degradation percentage is still the same, even if I die with my, my barrel's armor. I guess that applies also to moon stuff, probably. It is time to say goodbye to the Ring of Elements. We're going to give it to our homie here, Mr. Cerulean Gem. Goodbye. We have at least four for sure for the Blood Moon Armor, and that's the goal. Okay, it's time to say goodbye to the Arams. Didn't even get to use it. Emotional damage. And also the Carol Skirt. Yeah, we're going to get rid of that. Also, the fact that apparently the Blood Moon Pants is almost the same magical defense, and that's only the reason why I would even consider keeping it. All right, so we're going to take a little break and try to get a Kelphite Queen task so I can do the Frax Flail combat achievement at Kelphite Queen easier, and then we clean this up. Okay, so the Wormling Bones are actually sellable and tradable, so I can just put this in the looting bag. Oh, new max hit 51? That's crazy. Oh, right, I have B-Ring now, no wonder. Ha, <laughs> that's right. Oh, shit. We got a defense level. Oh no. Oh, what? No way, dude. I got a champion scroll? Bruh. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Yay, 1 out of 10 towards the champion's cape, I guess. <laughs> I guess you get a Slayer XP lamp from here. My if I do. I was looking forward to the spiritual task, but then... I realized my Slayer level is too low. And I can only kill the Rangers, but they're actually not the worst. Dang, their spawn time is really bad, though. Oh, 65 Slayer. Oh, I can kill Dust Devils. That's really nice. Oh, another defense level. No. Uh, Cave Horrors. Yeah. Nah, CBA. Alright, we're just going to try to do this without a task. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long. All right, let's YOLO. Hopefully we can pull this off in like one try. All right, hold on. Let's let's try to flinch it here. Might be easier. All right, I'm just waiting for the things to spawn because it makes it easy to flinch. All right, just waiting for more stuff to spawn. Okay, she's blocked. We're good now. We should be able to do this now. Oh, we got it. Nice. Second phase. This is going to take a lot longer, that's for sure. Because uh, defense to melee goes up a lot more. Oh, no. Ah, that's not what I want. But Okay, this works, dude. This works. I got it. I got it. 
Oh no, they despawned. I think we're good now. Ooh, scary. All right, all right, chill. <laughs> oh man, this guy just hit so hard. We got it. Please tell me that's task complete. Come on. Yes, we did it. First smasher, yes. Let's get ourselves a 100k GP and an extra inventory space back. How's this back to back gonna be? Yeah, I doubt it. Oh, Perilous Champion, a nice 25k C. Another CA. Uh, of course, we're gonna finish up the CAs before we leave. Let's try to do the uh, no mechanic fails challenge, I guess. Now that the bosses work as intended. All right, hopefully we don't mess this up. I haven't done yellow in a while, though, so hopefully we don't mess this up. Okay, red we did perfectly, though. All right, we gotta take it easy. Oh my god, almost got messed up. Hey, yellow guy left. Okay, so it works now. I see. There's still a glitch, though, when you enter halfway. There we go. Nice. Nice, we did it. All right, DDS, go. We're going to try to see if we can beat the six-minute time. Yes, we got it. Clone zone is done. Okay, what else is left? There should only be like one or two left. Yeah, one of them is I got to get a weapon, the betrayal one. And then this one's the six-minute one. It just really depends on if I get a fast Blood Moon kill to start it off. Oh, no, we hit a zero. No. That's massively bad. Oh, I got it. Oh, that 47. That's huge. Okay. I think we have a shot. Hmm. Okay. Oh, that was really good. That was really good. All right. Tell me. Oh, we did it. Yes. I knew it, man. That was awesome. Okay. So we're pretty much done with all the combat achievements. Now we just need to wait for the weapon. Ah, 86 hit points. Nice. We take those. All right. Last one for the day. We're going to end this on 51. We got... All right. So we got water orbs. Nice. This is good timing. South of Arbor Camp. We are trying to get rid of this talisman, like I mentioned before. So we have to do the quests anyways. We got to do all the uh, elf stuff. So... All right. Let's open these up. Need space. Whoa. Crier coat and uh, white boater. Nice. What's this? Nice. We're in the elf lands now. All right. Hell yeah, we got the casket, boys. Let's open it. Oh, that's sick. We got some cool ass stuff. Huh. The dual side. Hell yeah. Ninja turtle, baby. 13,000 joy experience. Sweet. Regicide done. Just gotta do three more quests. Time to do roving elves, guys. Told myself the next time I death piled, I would go and uh, do mage arena real quick. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh no. Damn, these guys have terrible range. <laughs> you can literally trap them. We'll go with Zamarak. And the nice part is this cape is storable in the house. Yeah, I, I definitely did that. All right, we're going to get the bow for this because I can store it in a stash unit. I forgot I had three mahogany trees planted now because of, the, I think, his spory. Holy balls, man. Let's freaking go. Let's let's get 75 farming real quick. Oh, I can grow magic trees too. Nice. Yeah, but this is my mahogany uh, farm because I'm going to make some stash units right now. We got a... Crystal bow, master stash to make. All right, this is gonna cost a bit of money, but thanks to all the AFK wood cutting, fletching, I'm really loaded. Here we go. Oh, I got it! Yes. Oh my god, one try. That's awesome. Look at this. Look at look at this, guys. We're gonna go crazy right now. This is perfect because I have literally like two minutes. Holy shit! And then we go to Karend and. Go down here. Damn, look at that. We can do that in uh, in one minute. And I have two minutes. Holy shit, that was insane. That was the cleanest we've ever done it. Nice, there we go. That's a task done with the crystal bow, like I mentioned. And... 
We can put this in the stash unit. Beautiful. Oh my god. No, don't move. Yes. We're good. Oh, what the hell was that? Finish this in record time. All right, finally, Morning Zen Part 1. Nice, 40,000 thieving. But yeah, let's start Morning Zen Part 2. Hey, 58 thieving as well. All right, we did have some hiccups there. There was this part where resetting removed the blue crystal from the blue room. And apparently I needed that in there, so I had to actually like open that door myself and the quest guy didn't tell me. Uh, dude, who cares about this list, man? This is why we saved this catalytic talisman from all those months ago. I got a palm tree while woodcutting last night, so we planted it here, and I paid for it as well, so that should be a diary all set as well while we are at Lydia. There we go. Morning Zen Part 2 done, and we're almost done with this catalytic talisman. One last thing to do is to make that death rune for a diary. And I believe we can get rid of it then. Alright, 69 agility as well. Let's go. Alright, let's go make these death runes, boys. There we go. We're gonna drop this now. Free up this much looting back space. Awesome. One last thing. I'm gonna use up this coal and then we can get back to moons. Oh my god. I got a telly. Risked it with two food. It wasn't enough. There we go. 79 defense. Alright, big milestone here, boys. 100 KC. Let's look at some of the loot that we got right now, boys. In the looting bag. So, the seeds, I'm already planting them, but... The water orbs, that'll pair nicely. With some battle stabs from wherever. A lot of Harlanders and Eretz now, from here as well. Dang it. Alright, well, that wraps up another day of this. First time repairing the Torax. Okay, only cost it like 100k. Yo, 72 prayer. We are trying to work on some rumors today so I can uh, unlock the bird transportation just to get to uh, Perilous Moon easier. Hey, 70 Hunter, let's go. Oh shit, we got another level. Let's go. Hopefully, this is good enough to get 10 feed. It is 7 out of 12 from these uh, bags, so. Good luck, us. Ooh, one so far. No way, we're so short. We're literally, like, short now. Alright, we're gonna craft this whistle. Alright, this whistle's gonna be nice, because we can just go straight to that place. Hey, nice, we hit 72 hunter. Alright, well, that's cool. We can do uh, tier 3 Hunter Rumors and catch Silent Antelopes, which is what we need for ammo for the Silent Crossbow when we get to around using it. Okay, five, six. Oh, nice. I got the hit gear. Cool. Come on, just give me it. Yes. Oh my god, I got it. Yes, we got enough feats. We're done. Worth the time spent upgrading. Also, just because getting 72 Hunter is really good too. But yeah, we built this finally. Basically from the house telly, right? We have the portal and then we'll go to uh, this bird. And then we will just travel to Perilous Moons. Really important because we have to grind this boss every day. And also for this stash unit later on. 24? Oh my god, hit a 4, dude. Oh wait. Oh shit. No. Uh oh, I did not mean to die there. Ah. Uh. Great, now I gotta fix my looting bag. Oh, that's so annoying. First unprepared death on this account. Man. But yeah, this is where all your stuff goes when you die at Perilous Moon, by the way, guys. Don't rush into the boss rooms themselves. About eight minutes to get back with, you know, everything ready, so. Oh, I got it. Oh my god, dude. That's so good. The second item is actually a weapon. I really need for like TOA and all that and I can also use it here, you know to speed up the grind Whoa, that's awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be so nice on the ice guy man The double hits on crush like yo sign me the f up man <laughs> But I have to take a break. I, I have to do something now though. Oh 100% bonus nice Yeah, that's pretty sick. We get double the tokens from easy diary 
I want to say it's only been like five minutes and I've already gotten uh, a thousand tokens. So that's so nice. Yes, we got the defender. Let's go. I know some of you guys probably dropped in for the first time. Don't understand what's going on, but this is what's going on. See, now I can use this defender. Free up that space. All right, boys, we're going to try out the Macarena's. We do not have to set, but it's okay. Because this is four takes by itself and it has crushed, that means every hit that I do, two hits, uh, I gain five extra damage each, right? So I get 10 extra damage with the Macarena's. Holy shit, this is awesome. I don't even need the full set. And uh, this thing is smacking this guy. It's awesome. Yeah, this is definitely better than the axe for sure. Just with the weapon alone. Holy shit, look at that. One phase and I, I already did like over 300 damage. Woof. That's actually crazy. I can hit a 48 and it's four ticks. Oh, dude, this is so nice, man. Every single kill I've done so far, no more than two phases with the Macarena's, dude. Oh, I got it. Hey, 80 defense. Let's go. Oh! Yo, Blue Moon Spirit. Oh my god. Let's go. Stir item. Uh, all right. We're we can put this in the looting bag. So that's nice. Let's go. Two out of four. Hell yeah, dude. There we go. Nice. We got the betrayal task done. So all of Perilous Moons is done. There we go. Nice. Passively gains the medium tier. Almost there. Oh, let's freaking go, brother. Blood Moon Helm. Hell yeah. Two out of four moons. Blue moons. Two out of four red moons. Awesome. Four out of eight. Four more items to go. Uh, hashtag anti dupe is pretty OP. Oh, hell yeah. We just hit 86 strength and 105 combat. Let's go. Oh my god, dude. Let's go. Two items in one day. Okay, we're pretty much back on rate. Uh, yeah, it's like 1 in 30. We got five items now. Dude, we can almost store the blue moose set. Dude, just one more drop. I can't get over the fact that it's just guaranteed a non-dupe every time. Hell yeah. More prayer levels thanks to Perilous Moon. Let's get it. Oh! Oh, I finished. I finished blue moon. Oh my god, yes. Before I do anything else, let me show you guys. As you can see, let's just go armor first. Look at that. 66 magic accuracy. Same as Aram's. And same magic damage percent as well. And you also get this staff. This staff is sick though because it also gives you a 5% magic damage boost. And it can auto cast every single spell. Ancient magics even. Arceus even. So this staff is insane. So it's going to be really nice for Slayer and all that too. It also does have a set effect, but uh, I want to say this set effect's mostly for PvP, but it's okay, you know, this... The gear itself is amazing. It's also very light. Lighter than Aram, so that's a plus for things like soul raids. Anyways, boys, one of our biggest goals since starting this Ultimate Iron Man is actually freaking completed, dude! We made this stash unit on, like, what, episode 4? And this is probably, like, episode 10 plus or something. We've made this so long in preparation for this amazing goal, and we actually have it. Our sexy ass close to end game magic gear. Okay, well guys, I gotta get a looting bag, so I'm gonna have to do some LMS real quick. I got a bunch of points, so that's good. Okay, now I need to grab my death pile, like bad. Ah, uh, look at that. Looting bag is opened up quite a bit more. Oh my god, 71. That was crazy. Oh, oh my god, I finished. What? I finished. And I just bagged my stuff. <laughs> no way, bro. Oh my god, no way. I actually finished. I guess we're we're gonna leave with exactly what you see here in supplies and in the looting bag and in the the seat box. Albeit some of these have already been used up. Let's go for the bag to bag, boys. gonna leave for real okay we're leaving all right sweet so we're gonna be able to sell this for nearly our price and then my friend can get it and he can get some free money all right so let me double check once again 
Okay, we got the body. We got the helm. We got the legs. And the weapon stored in the blue moon guy. We're good. We're gonna do this now. Bam! I got some money. And let's see if he can buy it. Oh, he did! Did it work? Oh, he, he got it. Yeah, he's wearing it. Hey, nice scratch. That's, that's a free six mil to the boy. Our melee gear before, which was Torax, is currently in the stash unit. So we can always take that out whenever we want. But I think for the most part, the Blood Moon should cover us for most things. Uh, the nice thing about this, regardless of the set effect or not, this thing is basically budget bandos, right? It has the four strength on the body, two strength on the legs. And the helmet's pretty decent too. It's got four on the helmet, so it's very... Very good for most main situations, right? More than something like Torag, so. And of course, with the Macarenas, I can use the set effect as well for stab and uh, crush stuff like at TOA where I can stab with it. So it's going to be really nice there too. It also has really interesting magic as well. Look at that. It's got really good magic defense. Yeah, this thing is basically the same as like Carol Skirt magic defense wise. So that's also really interesting. Recently, we moved away from AFK mining at Calcifites because we got Sunny Prayer. So I figure it's time to work on fletching and woodcutting as my next AFK because I can make a lot of money. And also, getting a high enough fletching, ideally Sunny 4, is good for the Sunny Crossbow. That's going to be our next range weapon, which we'll be using for bossing. Alright guys, we got another fletching level. First one with the Dragon Axe. Uh, luckily, the maple trees always last a minute now because they standardize the timers for woodcutting ever since forestry. We've tested the rates with the Dragon Axe now, so it's pretty damn good. FK is nearly the same, but uh, our rates have gone up quite a bit. A 67 fletching. Oh, I can make adamant darts. That's actually pretty decent. 57k. Alrighty, boys. Another woodcutting level. A 68 fletching, so at 70 fletching, I will switch over to uh, use, I think, because I think there's going to be a way for me to make my life more AFK. Rates will go down, but I can make some money because the unstrong longbows, I can sell it to a, a general store that has a premium buy rate. 69 fletching. Oh, shit. Hey, we can just make rune crossbows. Pretty easily now, I guess, as long as we get the the ingredients, but yeah. That's kind of cool. Who knows, might find it useful one day. 82, we're getting probably the last level at Maples, potentially. Because we're almost to 70. Here it is, finally. 70 freaking fletching. Oh my god. I'm so excited to try this out, honestly. We're going to relocate our house to Polivniche. Uh, you'll understand why I'm doing that in a second. Alright, we're also going to take the log sack out as well. I am going to be cutting use at the woodcutting guild still because of the plus 8 boost and also because I have the jewelry box too. That means I can teleport here super, super quick. And basically when I fill up my inventory, also the log sack inventory, so it's basically two inventories, I will teleport uh, with the outside because we put our house here in Polyph niche and there's a store here this store is really important because this store buys things at 55 percent which is a little less than the other stores but the difference is this store the change in price is only one percent whereas every other store is two to three percent which means as i sell more and more items this will retain a much higher value than everybody else so basically i get a full inventory i come here i fletch the longbows and then i sell it here and i'll probably hop worlds just in between uh, inventories just to keep the price going all right so we're gonna teleport here now and we're gonna just fletch these u long boats get a full inventory fletched up and then uh, sell it to the store right here all right sweet we're gonna sell it here oh, holy shit just one of that that was crazy that gave me like 7k just off of yeah, basically 20. Wow. Okay, we're going to make a lot of money doing this. That's for sure. All right. Basically, I'll just hop twice per inventory. But that gave me 15,000 GP. Oh, yeah. I forgot. My prayer was super close. But I just got 71 prayer off of a god egg. All right. We take that. 
All right, boys, we've been at it for about two hours doing this U method, and I've been barely paying attention, I'm not going to lie, and somehow the rates are still pretty good. Almost 60k fletching, 35k woodcutting, so I would say like 15%, maybe 20% less than maples, but more than twice as AFK, though. It's so nice. And also, I guess it's about 40 to 50k GP an hour. Oh my god, I'm a genius. Why, why didn't I just use Total Worlds? Holy shit. <laughs> uh, I guess there's a... Uh, these stores are shared across all accounts. So there are some bots, unfortunately, that fills up the shop with like a lot of bullshit. But yeah, if I use the Total Worlds, they ain't there. Yo, just got my first fletching level doing the U Lombo method. And I've made almost 300k. Alright, first we're cutting level with use. Still pretty good. I'm getting like 35k an hour with all the fletching involved, so that's nice. Hell yeah, another fletching level made another uh, 300 or so thousand GP. Uh, nothing good from the easy medium. Oh, ancient blessing. That's actually really good. And yeah, nothing else, but cool. We'll take two of these. Nice. Probably the last significant game for today. A nice 74 farming. Yeah, we're still getting some good passive XP from all the uh, Hispori seeds and random tree seeds I'm getting from Perilous Moons and just woodcutting right now. But also getting a bit of contracts done, just very casually. Alright, boys and girls, we have a bunch of clues on the ground. And this one in particular is the music rock and roll, which I have to do my arms big adventure. That requires 100% Taiba Wanai favor. So I think we can just AFK this instead. Just go get that first. Uh, it'd be worth just getting it done for the clue step. And also just for that herb patch. Hell yeah, this was worth it. So I decided to do the regular machete on dense jungle. And it was worth it because that's like the fastest way to get a gal tuber. Alright, so it's any type of machete. So we're gonna go make this one and uh that should work please tell me that's a task done yes task done sweet sweet i complete another medium diary and we got 100 favor and uh i got my third gal tuber we're just gonna give it away to this other iron person because i don't need it dang i just saved this person who knows how many more hours apparently she's already been here for like five hours crazy Ooh, some good XP. We'll take that. A the seas free patch and another herb level. Hell yeah. Definitely gonna plant our like snapdragons and stuff here though. That's for sure. Alright, guys. We just hit 73 fletching. The number. Hell yeah. Alright, I got some big plans to use all this money though for some construction related goals. So talk more about that when we make enough money. I think we need at least like six mil total before we uh really address this all right if i do this right here we go that's another varag task done all right we got another fletching level there we go this one is huge wait wait what scorching bow too demon slaying bow really really good against demons especially krill the sign crossbow is the real thing that uh we've been trying to prep for but no ranging for a while guys we're stuck at uh perilous moon uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this quest done, Swan Song. Because all these hard clues always sends me there for some reason, so. And I'm also gonna work towards Kingdom Divided, I think. This one's pretty nice. Uh, eventually, I can see myself getting uh, thralls. So we'll get a few done in the next few days. Alright, we need 20 points. So we can uh, buy the... What is it? Lava runes, mist runes for Swan Song, so... Believe it or not, first time actually uh, buying the runes. Now, I heard this is a lot faster now, right? This guy like literally runs. There we go. Oh, man. Okay, let's do 10. Select lava runes. Confirm. And then uh, miss runes. 10. Confirm. There we go. Damn, 50k? Oh my god nice all right another big quest done i think we're gonna do a few more quests today nice one of the five quests 
Nice. All right. That's going to be the last quest for today. We did three. Oh, nice. Also got 59th evening. All right. Just hit 75. Fletching. Oh, I can make myself rune arrows now. God damn. That's so high level, honestly. I guess they were endgame at some point in time, right? Hey, nice. 86 with cutting. All right, boys. New day. Do some more quests for Kingdom Divided. Ooh, nice. We got a medium clue. Oh, shit. Zami page four. That's actually so good. Okay, we're still missing three pages on this. Dang. Nice. Another quest done. Just two more to go. We got one more to go. Nice. There we go. Every quest is pretty much done. Nice. Skilling requirements are done. Quest requirements are done. Sweet. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. I think we finished the mime set finally. We are done. I think. Yes. And this is awesome because every single random event going forward gives XP lamps. So that's really nice. Hell yeah. Hey, boys. We got 76 farming. Oh, now I can plant anima stuff. All right. Another fletching level. Ooh, amethyst broad bolts. Hmm. Interesting. I've never really made them before or used them, so... We'll have to see if it fits somewhere in the future. Nice. Time to open this up, baby. Okay. Some money. Take that. What else? Ooh, ancient cloak. Nice. Another fletching level. I think we're probably making like 400k GP every level now. Honestly, might just get 99 because uh, I just love this method so freaking much. Yes. More fletching levels. Oh, shit. I can make... Oh, toxic blowpipe. Wait. They... Oh, my God. They made that fletching level so high. I thought it was still like 58 or, or something. It used to be in the 50s. Yeah, they updated 78. <laughs> Almost 5 mil GP after today's AFK session. Let's go.